What's going on, guys? Your boy Frank the Tank. Welcome to another blog. Welcome to another YouTube video with your truly your boy Frank the Tank. And you guys probably already saw from the title of my video. That's it for a while for me. I'm not. I'm not working out. The thing that I love doing has practically been taken away from me, you know? Me lifting weights, that's my passion. Me doing bodybuilding, that's what I love to do. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna say I'm ever gonna be able to do it, but unfortunately for a couple of months, I'm not gonna be able to do that. If God permits, I'll get back to it, but like I told you guys, I've been dealing with the digestive issue. You probably guys, some of you guys are probably, hand. this guy keeps saying that, you know, but I'm sorry, but I'm believing a roller coaster. Sometimes I'm going up, getting those gains, and I'm out of nowhere. I go down, I go up, I go down. And I've hit rock bottom, you know. I, I, I recently went to the gym right now, like not long ago, you know. I'm, and I, I, I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't even do 20 pound dumbbell curls on each side without this problem that I have bothering me. And it's sad, you know, it's sad because I'm like, the summer's coming, you know. So many things are, uh, uh, the uh, fitness expo that's coming up, you know, I wanted to be like, you know, shredded, I wanted to be big, you know, I wanted to, you know, show off, you know, and I'm not going to be able to do that no more, you know, I'm not going to be able to have that body for the summer anymore, you know? But, you know, that's life, you know, since you got ups and downs. And unfortunately for me right now, I'm going through this and I know people are going, like I always say, people are probably, people are going through worse than me and, and, and I just gotta deal with the life problems and I know I'm gonna come out of this stronger. And, but yeah, guys, um, but yeah, well, the problem is that through all, all through all this time, I never knew what the real problem was with what I'm having, with why this is causing me, why I'm, I get chest pressure, why my chest be hurting all the time, why I'm burping all the time, why I get heartburn all the time, why I get can't work out properly, why I gas out of breath when I'm doing like working out. Why? My answer was like, why? Why? I, I was so frustrated. I was so depressed, not knowing why the answer or solution to my problem. Uh, I went to, I swear, I, uh, I'm sorry for me, I don't want to swear, but I promise you guys, I went to three different doctors. I went to a cardiologist. I went to a gastrologist twice. And all they would say, oh, you got a little bit of acid reflux. Oh, you got a little bit of heartburn. They would give me those pills, om omeprazole, where, and it would just, it wouldn't even, it would calm it down sometimes, but it wouldn't go away fully. Like I said, it was roller coaster. I would go up and I would go down, back down. And finally, finally, to the grace of God, if uh, uh, you always gotta have God by your side in the ups and downs, and and I, I'm a, I'm a I'm a believer, you know. I always pray, and, and God's always by my side, and and I went to a. Different gastrologists, you know, I was like, I went to, I told her, I told her, got straight up, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this, I don't know what to do anymore, can you help me? And, and, and again, they, they had done this testing before on me, um, it's called the endoscopy, I think it's called endoscopy, uh, excuse my, uh, my, 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 whatever, um, but, and yeah, um, I had done that before, and, uh, I guess I did it like a year ago, and, the, the, the gastrologists, I don't know if they were not good enough. I don't know if they didn't know what they were doing, but they literally just told me that I, I just had a little bit of acid reflux and that it would go away. They gave me some pills and, and you'll be okay. And no, it didn't go away. Yeah, I calmed it down, but it didn't go away. It came back even worse. And right now it came to a point, like I said, I can't work out, do what I love. So, yeah, I had my endoscopy. I, I, I was like, you know, I got to do it again. And I got it again. Um, I got it this two days ago. And I got the results. I think finally, finally this doctor has found what I have, what I've been dealing with this issue for the while, what, I, what, what I've been wanting to know and answer 
to what I have an answer to this thing that won't just leave me alone. All I want is a solution. All I want is so for somebody to tell me, hey, you Frank, you have this. Let's solve it. And I think this is it. I still got to go next Friday and go get some more testing. But of what I'm looking right here, of what they found when they did the endoscopy, it says right here that I got, that I got a hernia. It's called a, I, I suck it. It's called a diaphragmatic hernia. I think they also call it a hiatal hernia. So basically, I'm not a doctor or anything, but basically what it's trying to say is like, my stomach area right here with the abdomen and my chest area, I guess there's something not connecting well that lets all that, lets, it's just basically connected really close to my, like it's really right to the chest area, but it's like something missing there that it, the acids go up and mess with my chest. Um, and it's just basically bothering my chest area with the uh, gas, gas, all acid reflux, all that is bothering me that it's basically the hernia. It's basically, I have a hernia. So basically the only way for me to, for them to solve that is to, to get a surgery. I have not, I don't know if they're gonna, I'm still not 100% sure. Like I said, I barely got the endoscopy Friday, but I wanted to make this video to let you guys know why I recently haven't posted any workouts, why I recently haven't, I, I mean, I'm still motivated, you know, guys, I still go and do some cardio, man. I still go walk around the park, but why I haven't posted as much as I do, you know, I've, I've, this is life, I've been, I've, I've been down, you know, and, and, and life has, I, I mean, it's like, I still, I mean, I still be doing videos, I still be doing TikToks, I still be doing, because I, I love doing it, it, like, it distracts me, and it's also something that I love doing, you know, but, uh, they, I think they have finally found what I have. They have finally found what I have. And that's the only thing I wanted an answer. I'm not 100% sure. Because I still got to go Friday, like I said. But if that's it, if they have to do surgery, if I have to stop working out for months, six, five, even a year, I don't care. I, of course, I do care because I love doing it and it's going to suck for me. But finally, they will take away the pain. They will take away whatever is stopping me from doing what I love. And this frustration will go away of me not knowing what I have. I thought it was a heart. I thought it was so many things, you know. I thought I was going to die. Hopefully, this will solve it. Hopefully, this surgery, hopefully, this doctor, with the grace of God, I will, I will get through this and... I feel like I had to make this video, guys, for me to, like, explain to you guys what's going on in my life and kind of, like, why I'm not posting so many, why I won't post any more workout videos of me lifting weights, you know, lifting the heaviest weight, lifting, doing all this. But don't worry, like, I will still keep posting. I will still keep motivating, you know. I will still work around that, you know, because, I, I mean, basically, that's what I would do. I would go to different gyms, work out, and lift that weight, you know, and now that I'm not able to, you know, it just sucks, but I will find another way. This is where God tests you, you know, this is where God is like, okay, you want to put that hard work dedication to use? This is it. You're down, but you're going to put that hard work dedication to you. This is, this is why I put a label on a bottle, because it's all here. Hard work dedication formula. This is what's going to keep me up. This I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to back down. Whatever it takes. Hard work, dedication, guys. I had to let it all out, guys. Let's get it.